Hi, my name is Dr. Jonathan Bayek. I'm an allergist and immunologist in Western Massachusetts. And I want to take a few minutes to talk to you about the COVID vaccines and the experience that I've had with patients who've had adverse reactions and also people who are concerned about getting the vaccine who may have allergies or other previous problems. So let's start with that first. Um, there really aren't any contraindications to get the vaccine from being allergic to food or venom, bees, uh, or drugs. Um, if you're someone who's had a previous history of a reaction to a different vaccine, that may be something to discuss with your doctor or an allergist like myself, but even those are okay. If you do have a known allergy to polyethylene glycol, which is very, very rare, most people haven't even heard of it, or polysorbate, then that's a potential concern. But most of the adverse reactions that I've seen, and I've seen well over 100 because I've been responsible for seeing patients and, uh, and providers who've had uh, reactions to the vaccine of all different types, and I want to talk to you about that. But aside from being allergic to those specific things, polyethylene glycol and polysorbate, you don't have to be worried about having a, a reaction to something that you're already allergic to. Now, having said that, there's a few things that I've learned over the last month, having seen all these patients with adverse reactions that I want to share with you. What you definitely see is very common headache, muscle pain, not feeling so good, um, just feel a little bit odd, and arm pain at the site. There's a few other things that can happen, some nausea, occasional diarrhea, all of which are generally expected reactions that you would have with this vaccine and other vaccines. The, one, of the other, one of the things that I've seen quite a bit of is if you've had previous COVID infection and you get the vaccine, it is not uncommon to feel like you've had a recurrence of that, which can be confusing because a lot of, pe a lot of people are, gonna, are needing to get tested for that, but that's not really panning out. Mostly what's happening is when you get the vaccine, at least the mRNA vaccines, the Pfizer vaccine and the Moderna vaccine, what happens is, is that a macrophage takes up the vaccine and starts using its own machinery to make the spike protein. And when your immune system sees the spike protein, the spike protein is that spiky ball that we see when you see in the pictures of a COVID virus that we've all seen a million times, that's the spike protein. And your immune system can recognize that pretty quickly and within say 12 to 24 hours, fever, headache, muscle pain, being very tired, the same things that people had when they had the virus, that happens. What's also common in a lot of people is heart rate that happens immediately that will go up, blood pressure that can go up, nothing serious, but just something that I've seen a lot of. And so when that happens, it's something that you know, needs to be followed up with, with somebody to discuss it. But in, in most, term, most cases, I've been able to get patients through that as well. Um, and so the purpose of this video is really to, to make sure people understand it's safe and you're going to hear about adverse reactions. And as we move into the general population, it's going to happen but it's okay. We can work through them. In most cases, in almost all cases, the second dose of the vaccine can be given safely. There is a role for allergists. There's a role for all medical providers to be involved with this. And if that's something that happens to you, if, if you do go to a, a local pharmacy when that becomes available and you have concerns, I really encourage you to reach out to your primary care doctor or your primary care provider and, and potentially be seen by an allergist. But again, the point of this is to reassure people, we need to get vaccinated, all of us. I've had the vaccine. I'm gonna get my second vaccine. I did have a few side effects, nothing to write home about, but it's, it's okay. And I've, I've received hundreds, if not over a thousand phone calls asking, is it okay for me to get the vaccine? And on almost every single case, in fact, I think every single case, the answer is yes. For almost every single person in the world, getting these vaccines should be safe. Now that's the two mRNA ones that are currently available. AstraZeneca's vaccine is going to come out, which uses an adenovirus a vector, which is a totally different mechanism. And then we have other vaccines that are coming down the pipeline as well. All of those are going to be different. And so as we learn more about these vaccines and their safety, we all should be able to get vaccinated. And if you have concerns about that, I encourage you to reach out to your provider. Thank you. Good luck. Wash your hands. Stay safe. Wear a mask and get vaccinated.